Welcome back to Somatics Meets Pelvic Health. We are exploring a variety of techniques for stress management, for worry and uh, physiological tension. Things are going to come up throughout pregnancy, things are going to come up in life, and what we do know is that when our body goes into a state of fight or flight, right, stress response, that there's physiological tension that's held in the body. And not only that, we're releasing stress hormones, right? And the baby's receiving those stress hormones. So we would need techniques that we're often, we're not often taught a variety of techniques to actually work through when we're feeling physiological tension and stress, okay? So here is another technique, and this can also be um, useful for those who have like a lot of jaw tension. So what we do know is that jaw tension has some correlation with pelvic floor tension. And we've been talking a lot about relaxing the pelvic floor, being able to release the tension, improve the range of motion and flexibility. And so we can actually tap into our overall body, not just the pelvic floor, by practicing a variety of different techniques. And this one in particular is going to be about relaxing the jaw, but also about stimulating our vagus nerve, okay? And this is an important nerve because 80 to 90% of the information coming from this nerve goes up to our brain. And it is telling our brain the state of our being, the state of our body, what's happening with our organs, what's happening inside our body. And it needs to tell the brain this information so that the brain can decide, am I safe? Am I in danger? Is my life in threat? And then it's going to create responses, okay? So we need to stimulate this nerve in a way that helps our brain receive information that like, I'm okay right now. Everything's okay. Like, I just need some help calming down. So that's what these techniques are centered for. Okay, so we're just gonna start off with um, just some jaw movements and we're gonna explore how that sort of feels. We're going to be using our tongue um, as a way to stimulate the nerve because there's nerves back in our pharynx that um, there are branches of the vagus nerve and then we're gonna use sound as well to create overall body relaxation. All right, let's get going. So we're going to start by just gently opening and closing our mouth. Or I should say jaw. Right? Think about the pelvic floor opening and closing. A little bit of side to side. A little bit of forward and back. And you can make funny faces too. Good. Now I want you to stick out your tongue and do a deep exhale. And if you can get a little bit of a sound or like a vibration, even better for stimulating the vagus nerve. So we're going to stick our tongues out. Now we're gonna use a little bit of sound to create a vibration in our throat. And I really want you just before we do that, just like to take a moment and just feel the overall sensation of your body. Like if you notice any like tightness or tension sneaking somewhere in the body, just like getting a sense of like how relaxed do I actually feel? And what we're gonna do is we're going to use the word moo. Okay, and I want you to focus on creating a very deep, resonating moo sound. Okay, so it's gonna sound something like this.
The next one, we're gonna actually do the same sound with opening and closing our jaw. So one more time, nice deep breath in. Last one, we're going to make the sound opening and closing our mouth, and we're gonna use our hands to also move with it, okay? So nice deep breath in through the nose. And now, if it's safe and you feel comfortable, close your eyes. Deep breath in. Bring your attention to your jaw and your throat. What's it feel like there? What does your overall body tension feel like? Can you bring any awareness or focus to your pelvic floor? How does it sort of feel down there too? Good. So give the technique a try. If you're feeling really tense or um, agitated or irritated or you know you just feel really unsettled, take a couple minutes. Try the techniques and then just notice if you can tell a little bit of a physiological difference. And then, of course, let me know what you think. All right, that's it for today.